Alter Globalization is the name of a social movement whose proponents support global cooperation and interaction, but oppose what they describe as the negative effects of economic globalization, feeling that it often works to the detriment of, or does not adequately promote, human values such as environmental and climate protection, economic justice, labor protection, protection of indigenous cultures, peace and civil liberties. The name may have been derived from a popular slogan of the movement, Another World is Possible, which came out of the World Social Forum. The Alter Globalization Movement is a cooperative movement designed to protest the direction and perceived negative economic, political, social, cultural and ecological consequences of neoliberal globalization. Many alter globalists seek to avoid the disestablishment of local economies and disastrous humanitarian consequences. Most members of this movement shun the label anti-globalization as pejorative and incorrect since they actively support human activity on a global scale and do not oppose economic globalization per se. Instead they see their movement as an alternative to what they term neoliberal globalization in which international institutions and major corporations devote themselves to enriching the developed world while giving little or no attention to the detrimental effects of their actions on the people and environments of less developed countries, countries whose governments are often too weak or too corrupt to resist or regulate them. This is not to be confused with proletarian internationalism as put forth by communists and that alter globalists do not necessarily oppose the free market, but a subset of free market practices characterized by certain business attitudes and political policies that often lead to violations of human rights. Etymology The term was coined against accusations of nationalism by neoliberal proponents of globalization meaning a support of both humanism and universal values but a rejection of the Washington Consensus and similar neoliberal policies. The alter globalization French movement was thus opposed to the treaty establishing a constitution for Europe on the grounds that it only advanced neoliberalism and an Anglo-Saxon economic model. Originally developed in French as altermondialism, it has been borrowed into English in the form of altermondialism or altermondialization. It defines the stance of movements opposed to a neoliberal globalization, but favorable to a globalization respectful of human rights, the environment, national sovereignty, and cultural diversity. Following the French usage of the word altermondialist, the English counterpart alter globalist may have been coined. The term alter globalization is derived from the term anti globalization, which journalists and others have used to describe the movement. Many French journalists, in particular, have since ceased using the term anti-globalization in favor of alter-globalization. It is supposed to distinguish proponents of alter-globalization from different anti-globalization activists. History, economic integration via trade, financial flows, and investments had been occurring for many years, but the World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference of 1999 brought significant attention to the outcry for such integration through vast media outlets, support groups, and activists. Though this opposition first became highly popularized in the 1999 Seattle WTO protests, it can be traced back prior to the 1980s when the Washington Consensus became a dominant development in thinking and policymaking equals factors historically provoking economic integration and resistance equals, the Great Depression, the period of European colonialism, the early post-World War II period, the 1970s, when southern governments banded together to pose alternative rules and institutions and when popular resistance to different aspects of economic integration spread in many nations, the period of European colonialism. During the late 15th century most regions of the world were self-sufficient, although this led to much starvation and famine. As nations grew in power, sought to expand, and increased their wealth they forged on a mission to gain new lands. The central driving force of these nations was colonialism. Once in power in these new territories, colonists began to change the face of the economy in the area which provided them with motivation to sustain their efforts. Since they no longer had to solely rely on their own lands to produce goods, some nations began global commerce after establishing colonies in continents like Africa, Asia, the Pacific and the Middle East, the Americas and the Caribbean. 
once lands were conquered the native inhabitants or others brought along as slaves grew rebellious towards their captors. This is evident in a number of slave rebellions, such as Harper's Ferry, Stono, and the New York Burning, and Native American attacks on European colonists on the North American continent. Over time these skirmishes gave way to social movements aimed at eliminating international trade in goods and labor, an example of which is the attempt to abolish the slave trade and the establishment of the first International Workingmen's Association. The post-World War II era, the global economic state of post-World War II led to the creation of the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank and the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. The International Monetary Fund's purpose was to supervise the exchange rate system and provide immediate loans for financial supplement of countries whereas the World Bank a Euro unregistered trademark S goals were aimed at creating long-term low-interest loans that aided in the reconstruction of Europe and the development of independent third world countries. GATT originated from a perceived need to oversee the reduction of tariff barriers to trade in manufactured goods. These financial institutions allowed for the development of global private corporations as administration over trade fell. Free market systems began to grow in popularity as developing countries were required to globalize their economies instead of concentrating on creating jobs and stimulating economic growth. This allowed for private corporations to expand globally, without regard to central issues facing the home country like the environment, social structure or culture. The 1970s and Southern Resistance, the 1970s saw resistance to global expansion by both government and non-government parties. Senator Frank Church was concerned with the role multinational corporations were beginning to play and created a subcommittee that reviewed corporate practices to see if they were advancing U.S. interests or not. It was through these public revelations that Southern nations around the world wanted rules to govern the global economy. More specifically, these southern nations want to raise slash stabilize raw material prices, and to increase southern exports. These nations began their movement not only with central goals but with codes of conduct as well. Thus two manifestations, one individual, and the other collective, amongst southern nation states, existed in their attempts to generate reform. Preconditions for alter globalization, it is suggested by some scholars, such as Laj in Russia, that the effects and growth of alter globalization can be felt worldwide due to progress made as a result of the Internet. The Internet can provide easy, free-flowing and mobile information network organization that is in its very nature democratic. Knowledge is for everyone and is perceived to be needed for further development of our modern world. Furthermore, Internet access makes possible the rapid spread of various groups' principles, progress, growth, opposition and development. The Internet has provided a means of communication that stretches beyond the limits of distance, time and space so ideas may not only be generated but implemented as well. Alter globalization as a social movement, alter globalization can be characterized as a social movement based on Charles Tillier Euro unregistered trademark SWUNC displays. WUNC is an acronym for worthiness, unity, numbers and commitment. Alter globalization is seen as a worthy cause because its goals aim to sustain those being afflicted by the selfish acts of global corporations and their negative effect on human value, the environment, and social justices. It also serves to unite various people around the world for a good cause, to fight for better treatment of third world countries and their economies, workers' rights, fair equal human rights. Many are committed to the goals set forth by alter globalization groups because of the perceived negative effects globalization is creating around the world. Examples include, the exploitation of labor, outsourcing of jobs to foreign nations, pollution of local environments, and harm to foreign cultures to which jobs are outsourced. Alter globalization can be viewed as being purposeful and creating solidarity which are two of the three incentives posited by the rational choice theory proposed by Dennis Chong. Rational choice theory focuses on the incentives of activism, stating that activism follows when the benefits to protesting outweigh the costs. Alter globalization allows one the opportunity to see the difference they are working towards by eliminating the negative side effects already affecting our world. 
It also calls for solidarity amongst peer community relations that can only be experienced by being a part of the system that causes change. Another type of social movement that applies to all to globalization and our understanding of how it relates is found in collective action frames. Collective action frames provide a schemata of interpretation that allows for organization of experience into guided action. Action frames are perceived as powerful because they draw from FIOPLI Euro unregistered trademark S emotions, reinforce the collective identity of the group, and create a statement from the group's collective beliefs. Frame analysis is helpful to alter globalization because it calls for activists to learn through their socialization and interactions with others. One of the key tasks of action frames is generating agency, or a plausible story that indicates the ability of the activists to create change. With alter globalization every aspect of the movement suggests this ability because the goals affect the economies, environments and human relations of various countries around the world. Equals examples of alter globalization as a movement equals attempts at an alter globalization movement to reform policies and processes of the WTO include alternative principles of public accountability, the rights of people, and the protection of the environment through the theoretical framework of Robert Cox. Labor movement and trade union initiatives have begun to respond to economic and political globalization by extending their cooperation and initiatives to the transnational level. Fair trade initiatives, corporate codes of conduct, and social clauses as well as a return to local markets instead of relying too heavily on global markets. Alter globalization activists have promoted alternative water governance models through North-South Red-Green alliances between organized labor, environmental groups, women's groups, and indigenous groups. The first current of the alter globalization movement considers that instead of getting involved in a global movement and international forums, the path to social change lies through giving life to horizontal, participatory, convivial and sustainable values in daily practices, personal life and local spaces. Many urban activists cite the way that, for example, the Zapatistas in Mexico and other Latin American indigenous movements now focus on developing communities' local autonomy via participatory self-government, autonomous education systems and improving the quality of life. They appreciate too, the convivial aspect of local initiatives and their promise of small but real alternatives to corporate globalization and mass consumption. Equals groups equals, advocates of alter globalization have set up an online global news network the Independent Media Center, to report on developments pertinent to the movement. Groups in favor of alter globalization include ATTAC, an international trade reform network headquartered in France. Equals World Social Forum equals. The largest forum for alter globalization activity is the annual World Social Forum. The World Social Forum is intended as a democratic space organized in terms of the movement's values. See also. References. External links. Henrietta Elmore Review of Alter Globalization. Becoming Actors in the Global Age by Geoffrey Pliers, Cambridge, Polity, 2011. The ABCs of the Global Economy from Dollars and Cents Magazine. The Other World Photo Documentary on the Alter Globalization Movement 2003-2005. French, F.R., Alter Mondialism.